What's up guys, it's uh, Halfway, broadcasting from around the world in Phenomenal Pen Cambodia. And today guys, we're going to be talking about getting things, uh, things and products that you are accustomed to, whether you're in America or just in the West, um, when you get here. Now, if you don't know that much about Cambodia, you might see uh, some things that you might see if you're watching like documentaries or just getting information about Cambodia. A lot of that could be... Uh, like these like small rural villages which give you uh you know one example of what cambodia is uh and then there's also you know the cities there's phnom penh for example the capital which is the largest city um there's also siem reap i think it's not quite as nearly as big or developed as phnom penh but so there's different sides of what cambodia is so neither one is more accurate or more correct as to you know what represents cambodia more uh whether it's some small village or it's the capital city here in phnom penh uh, they are both equally parts of what is Cambodia. Uh, but just speaking about Phnom Penh, that's where I live in Cambodia. And, uh, you know, trying to get things from back home, uh, like I said, things and products that you're used to. Uh, sometimes it might be a little difficult to get some things, but the majority of items, the majority of products and things that you would like to get that uh, you're used to from back home are absolutely obtainable here. Um, some, again, are going to be more or less. Uh, so if you saw like the be beginning of this video, the uh, the opening sequence was a place called uh, it's called TK Avenue. It's in uh, Tolkort. So the TK stands for I think Tolkort. Um, so it's one of the places that have uh, a decent amount of Western stuff. Uh, even more so if you go to the Eon Mall, which is in uh, that'd be Tony the Sock. I guess that technically be Tony the Sock. Uh, the Eon Mall it's down more toward Riverside-ish, uh, like Kopec. Kind of, I think it's technically totally massage, I imagine. Uh, so the Eon Mall is there, and the Eon Mall is, you know, just like any any really nice like American mall. Um, it's not like if you have some shitty little mall in your town, it's not like that. Like it's a legit, really, really nice mall, and it has a lot of 
um, a lot of high-end stuff and a lot of really cool stuff that you'd want. Uh, but even at TK Avenue and at the Eon Mall, you cannot get everything that you want. Uh, for some things, you have to explore a little bit. So for example, before I came to Cambodia, um, I had an Xbox 360, and I didn't bring it with me. Uh, I figured I, I wanted to save more room in my bag for like clothes and stuff that I, I really wanted to bring. And I figured, hey, like I'm going to Asia, electronics here are probably going to be so cheap, and I'm just going to go there and pick up an Xbox 360 like that. Uh, I brought my hard drive with me, so all you have to do is, you know, pop it in. And dude, it is so hard to find Xbox 360. Now, there are a couple places that sell them, uh, but they're really expensive still, even for an Xbox 360. You can get Xbox One also, of course, here. But for a new Xbox 360, the cheapest one I found, I think, was like $350. Um, I see them sometimes, uh, every once in a while, they're very scarce. Every once in a while, they'll pop up on a, uh, like a Facebook... Uh, like a Facebook buy and sell page, but a I brought my I brought my hard drive, so I want I need an Xbox that my hard drive can clip into. A lot of people here have Xbox Slims, uh, which I think there's a way you can get like and transfer your hard drive to an external hard drive and then connect that to the Xbox Slim or some kind of weird thing. Uh, and then the other issue is, I would say the majority of the used Xboxes here are jailbroken, um, which. Uh, I think that's illegal, so don't do that. But if, if you do have an Xbox that's jailbroken, what you can do is you can play like burnt games and stuff on it. Uh, so it's cool for single player. Again, it's illegal, so it's not that cool. But if you just happen to have one, there's no way you can control that happen. Uh, which is cool for single player because you can just like download a bunch of games for free. You know, if you know somebody that can like flash them onto your, I don't know if that's the correct term, but it might be. Put them onto your hard drive for you for free, and then you can just play all these, you know, free games. Uh, the problem is I use Xbox Live, and Xbox Live uh, runs detections. If they detect that you have a, uh, a jailbroken Xbox, your account will get banned. And I have, uh, I have way too many years of Xbox Live stuff to just get my account banned, so there's no way I want to risk that. Um, so it's also hard to find a used Xbox 360 that's not jailbroken. Either. So again, for a new Xbox 360, it's like $350. Um, uh, I might have just lied. I think it was $250. I think it was 250 for the used Xbox 3, or for a new Xbox 360. Uh, the Xbox Ones, the 500 uh, gigabyte, I think we're starting at 350, and then went up close to 400 for the one terabyte. But I think that's for the um, just the regular Xbox One. I don't think it's like the Xbox One. It's at the Xbox One S or whatever that came out, and then now is coming out the Xbox One X. Um, so I imagine, again, those will be things you'll be able to get here, but they're going to be a little bit expensive. Sorry if you're not into video games, I just rambled on about Xbox for like four hours. Not really. Uh, but just that's just an example. Of, of, there are, you can probably get almost anything uh, here that you're accustomed to back home. I'm sure there are some limitations, uh, or even some variant, even if it's not the exact same thing that you're looking for, but something very similar. Um, you just have to know where to go and uh, just do some research. So, uh, you know, I'm still learning. I don't know every single place in Phnom Penh to go for every single thing. Uh, I utilize my Khmer friends a lot, and I hope I don't annoy them. <laughs> but, like, I ask them a lot of questions sometimes. I mean, not a lot, but, you know, I don't know everything here, and I'm trying to learn. And, you know, those are very good resources to go to our, you know, people who have lived there their entire life. Uh, all right, guys, that's basically all this video is about. But uh, this is Halfway Broadcasting from around the world, Phenomenal Penn, Cambodia. Peace, guys.